All right, g'day guys. Welcome tonight to another Campaign Cartographer 3 video. Uh, this video is going to be basically designed to help us focus on how to uh, basically create a map in one place uh, or from one version of CC3 Plus and to move it over to another version of CC3 Plus. I'd like to dedicate this video to Jerry. Uh, we've been talking this issue through all night. It's taken us a little bit of time to get our head around it. Um, but uh, I think I figured it out now, so putting it on video so I never forget how to do this again. Alright, so let's jump over to CC3 Plus and have a look. Alright, so the reason you might need to do this, um, and specifically this is, this is something Jerry's found tonight and he's been trying to overcome. Uh, basically, he's in a situation where he's created a map um, and it was smaller than, you know, probably what he needed. And he's now obviously been mapping away for a couple of days and he's finally got to a stage where he's hit the border and he needs to actually expand the map a bit more. Um, there's probably some other better ways to do this, I'm not sure, but uh, this is a way that was recommended on the forums and it's certainly an easy way to do it once you know how. So, what I've done is I've actually got two copies of Campaign Cartographer 3 running. All right, and that can obviously uh, be a little bit overwhelming, but there's one on the right, one on the left. Now you can see on the right, I've got the uh, the version that I've been working on, and the one on the left is where we're basically going to create a brand new instance. So we'll do that just for the sake of doing it. We're going to be basically creating a map in the same style. So I'll do a uh, Mike Schley Overland in this case here. And I'm gonna to go to about, oh, probably, oh, probably 3,000 by 3,000. We'll click finish and we'll save it. And then we get a test map there. Okay, then we can go back onto our original. And what we want to do is we want to use the copy tool. So we can come up here to the copy tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go copy to clipboard. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically copy all the entities in the map, but I'm not including the border in this case. So I'm just including everything that's actually inside there. So I'm going to click and drag. Uh, you can see it highlights everything. Then we right click and click do it. And this is the bit that stumped me literally for the last half an hour. Click and drag just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Uh, I'm going to not save now. Then we can come over here and go edit, paste. And we can see that that has gone to the clipboard. And we can paste that down. And we can actually paste as many copies as we want. All right, once you're done, you can press escape. And then using this, we can basically, uh, we can zoom in and we can see that we should now have two copies of it. All right, so let's just run through that again, just because this can be a little bit funky, I found. We're going to the copy tool. We're right clicking. We're going copy to clipboard. Then we're going to highlight the bits that we want to copy. Going to right click and click do it. The important bit, click, drag a little bit, just a tiny bit, just until that disappears. And then we go back over to edit and click paste in the new instance. And there we go. And we can probably do some funky things like hold down control and increase the size of it as well. And yep, that sure works. All right, so it's one of those things with Campaign Cartographer 3 that it's probably difficult to figure out the first time you do it just because, you know, it can be a little bit uh, weird the way you click things sometimes and set things off. Uh, but once you've done it one or two, three times, it's actually quite simple. Um, and then obviously using this, um, oh, I'll probably click this button here. Just this uh, show all is a really handy button, by the way. And you can see it is larger on a much larger version of the map. Uh, and if we wanted to go in and draw a hex or square grid over it, yeah, we can. All right, and then that'll obviously put the grid over the rest of the map. So that's probably one of the easiest ways to expand the size of your map. Um, I'm researching some other ways and I'll make some videos once I figure those out. But for now, this should do uh, fine, I reckon. So give it a crack and uh, let me know if you have any further questions. Um, and hopefully this helps some people out. So this is how to be how to copy one map, uh, one CC3 Plus map from one version of CC3 Plus to a new map. Uh, basically, the purpose is to allow you to expand the size of the map. I hope this has helped. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you do find these videos useful, please do feel free to subscribe. Then you'll be notified when I release new videos. Alright guys, thank you and have a good night.